Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel, I'm Aima. In this quick video, I want to show you how to set up Carousel posts on Facebook. Now, this is a functionality that has been hidden or I may say restricted idea to people who are running ads. And if you're posting normally on Facebook, you may not find this functionality on your page. But in this quick video, I want to show you how you can go around all this saga. In other words, you can, even if you're not running an ads campaign, you can still use the Carousel post feature. So without any further ado, let's get into it. All right, as you can see, I'm already logged into my page. So uh, this is what we're going to be creating. So with Carousel posts, are you allowed to use up to about eight scrollable images as you can see here up here we're given a description just to give a description of what is in, is in the carousels and each carousel gets a simple headline a description and a call to action so you can make them uniform all uniform as you can see or you can have each carousel to have a different description a headline and also a call to action all the call to actions are uniform so there are a number of them you can use apply now you can link them to your website you can link them to your phone call to a, for a phone call or you can link them to your whatsapp such that when someone clicks on this call to action they are either directed to your website to your whatsapp or they are prompted to make a phone call so this is what we're going to design so let's head straight into a business manager to get started so type in business dot facebook.com since i'm already logged in it will open up my uh, business manager yes so from this click ads manager yes so from this interface here select create a campaign so now this is not a campaign that we're going to be running but for us to be in position to use the cars of feature this is the procedure so uh, from the campaign objectives, you can either select awareness or traffic. So for my case, I'm going to use traffic. Yes, click select continue. Yes, and from here, let's give our the campaign a name. Carousel. You can say Carousel. Post um, 005. Okay, what's up? okay so once that is done you can ignore the rest of the settings and click next that is the ad set level still at the ad set level uh, from here you can select a different call to actions so you can either select whatsapp in other words when someone clicks on uh, on on one of the carousels at uh, the call to action they will be directed to your whatsapp so for you to be in position to use the whatsapp call to action uh, the page has to be connected to a WhatsApp business account. So if you do not have these already connected, make sure you check out my video um, where I show you how to connect your WhatsApp account or WhatsApp number to your Facebook page. So there are a number of different call to actions. You can select WhatsApp, you can select Messenger, you can select your application, you can select your website such that when people click on it, they will direct to your WhatsApp. To your website or you can select a uh, cause that when someone actually um, selects on the call to action they direct they are directly prompted to call you so for my case let me use messenger um yes so you can ignore the rest since we are not going to actually run this campaign so you can just ignore the rest and leave them as they are select next yes so this is where the magic happens so from here select the page where you're going to be creating the uh, the carousel post so i'll select my page and from this keep uh, the ad setup create ad yes so from this uh, let's select carousel with the format yes uh, scroll all the way so from from down here let's get started with uh, setting up the carousel cards so we shall do that by uh, select getting images so add images so i already have my images the ones that i want to use for this post already uploaded but if you don't have them simply select upload and then you'll be in position to upload these images so 
I'll simply select the, the images um, since I already have them here. Click continue. Okay. Okay. So uh, let's get started first with adding a headline. Okay. So for my case here, I put, okay. Since this is just a sample, I'll just put maybe some little bit of dummy. Yes. Put a description. I'm still using dummy text. Now the beauty is for each card, you can decide to give it a different headline and a description just describing what is in that particular carousel card or you may decide to have all the carousel cards have the same headline and description so for my case I'm going to use that so I'm going to have them all have a uniform headline and a description for all the other carousels yes so once that is done um, yes so once that is done select a call to action the call to action as we said, we shall just be using a messenger, so send a message. Okay, so I think we are done here. So the next thing you want to do is actually to publish this ad. So one thing you should know is that uh, once this is published, it always goes through a review. So we are going to actually have this posted on our Facebook before actually the review process actually goes forward such that actually the ad doesn't go through but at the same time if you want to um if you want to continue with the ad you are free to actually have the ad up and also have the post on your facebook so once this is done let's uh close here click on 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 home yes business home let's go back to the business home we're still doing all this from business manager so from there let's select all tools yes so from all tools uh scroll down and go straight to uh, page posts so now one thing you should know is that page posts are actually being moved to business suit but that's not the case they are still uh, available in business manager but facebook is actually promoting business suit way more than business manager so they want you to do everything almost in business manager so for this case please ignore click cancel the the uh page posts will actually be loaded so from this page select add posts so what will happen if you continue to business manager you won't be in position to actually do this so make sure you cancel and then the page posts page will be loaded so from there let's select add add posts and from there you will see this is our select on the ad post as you can see this is exactly what we have been creating yes so select actions up here and then publish yes click publish so like that our 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 post our carousel post has been published so let's go back to facebook and see if this has been really effectively done so let's refresh yes as you can see our carousel post is actually up so uh, the last thing that you want to do is actually go and turn off the campaign so remember we created this as an ad and right now it is actually being reviewed so we want to turn it off before it goes through the review process so we just simply turn it off so now turning off the campaign won't stop the ad sorry won't stop the camp the the, the the post from actually featuring on your page so the the post will still remain let's refresh and see i've just put off the campaign yes as you can see regardless of me turning off the campaign the post has actually stayed so at a later date if you want maybe to have this as an ad you can turn it the campaign on make a few tweaks to it and have it run so that's it i hope you've gotten some value before you go make sure you hit the subscribe button 